This is the AdPow Smart Battery Charger, generally used for automotive batteries. It does 12 or 24 volts, up to 12 amps. Let's take it out of the box. So here it is here. There's an automatic or manual switch right over here. There's an LCD display that shows currently what the voltages are in that. And an information panel. These are not buttons. These are LED lights that will light up depending on what's going on. It has a standard US plug there. And here are the battery clamps. Right here, nice strong spring on them. The cables are rather thin. The wires are rather thin on there. But remember, this is not a battery, uh, like a car jump starter kind of thing. Okay, this is more meant for charging up batteries that have been depleted. Uh, it's meant for if you have a car that you rarely drive, you can hook this up, let it do its thing, it'll charge it up. But if you have a dead battery in your driveway, you're not going to plug this thing in and hook it up and hit the button and go start it. It doesn't work that way. That's not what it is. Uh, they give you a user manual and a bonus battery terminal brush. This right here will go on the post of most automotive batteries like that. And there's also a cover that comes off to reveal a brush here, which is great for the um, battery terminals on the car where that go over the post. And it also makes a cool sound when you touch it like that. So you would put the brush in the battery post like that, and that would clean all the corrosion off of that. Plugged in with nothing connected to it. This is what you can see here, 16.3 volts. And this is the panel over here. You can read some of the legends on there if you'd like. So let's go ahead and get a battery and hook this up. So the handy battery I have right now is my jump pack. This is one of the old school ones with a sealed lead acid battery in it. And it has its own charger and that works fine. But the battery is just handy so I just have the clamps hooked to the battery clamps. And I'm going to turn the switch on. And I'll let you see the display as I turn it on. Okay, I have this set to automatic mode. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you see all the lights have changed. And things are starting to happen. It's reading 2.4 amps, 81%, 82%. And it looks like it's charging here. The flashy light in the lower corner means charging. And the 12 volt light is on. And the upper right light says float. So it's doing like a float charge because this is pretty much a fully charged battery. I charge this thing oh, once a month or so, so it might be just a little bit low. But it's certainly just doing its thing. And it'll sit here very happily. You see, uh, if the camera will refocus there, that it is certainly going up. And it's doing its thing. The unit is also fan cooled. There's a fan running here at the back and that is dependent on load because when I turn it off it gets quieter. I'll turn it back on. So you can see depending on load the fan will increase in speed to keep the charger cool. So if nothing else this has a nice little display to let you know what's going on. It is hard to read from this angle. Uh, the camera makes it look like it's like all eights in that from here so you do have to get down to this angle to really read it but you know that's not really a big deal and it has a lot of cool blinking lights on there so that's always a nice plus and this also has a lot of protection built into it it has reverse polarity protection overheating protection it has a low battery alert where if the battery is too low to really be charged it just simply won't do it you could set it to manual mode and you know let it creep up a bit where you could then switch it over to automatic and let it take over. Uh, short circuit protection and also over current protection. And when this is done, it will also stop if you're in the automatic mode. It will stop automatically. So you won't have to worry about tending to the battery while it's doing that. So once again, this was the AdPow Smart Battery Charger. Generally for automotive batteries. Looks like it has a lot of functionality. And the plus is that it has a manual mode so you can force it to do stuff if the circuitry inside doesn't want to. Looks like it's a pretty good product. This would be great if you have a car, like I said, that you don't drive much. Uh, it would, um, you know, help 
keep the battery up on that, especially if you have maybe a, a classic or or something like that. You keep garaged all the time over the winter. You don't want to drive it in the snow, stuff like that. So it can tend to your battery just by hooking it up with the clamps. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.